I was very lucky to be invited by uh, the Comi and, uh, and Johnson to participate, chair their symposium at Comi 2023, and discuss uh, a topic that uh, that has not been much discussed in recent years, but that we put again on the table now, which is uh, can we cure myeloma? Um, do we have cure myeloma for certain patients uh, already? And, uh, and uh, what, what would be the definition of cure? Because uh, if you want to say that you have plenty of patients that have been cured, you just pick an easy one. Um, if you want to be very stringent in your definition of cure, then it's much more difficult, and then you would discover that very few patients are cured. So, so yeah, the, the symposium will uh, turn around three speakers, of course I, but also Marie-V. Mateos and Michel Delforge. Uh, I will discuss the philosophical, let's say, definition of cure in regards to what is cure in other hemoc, hematology malignancies, but also other cancer. And, uh, and Marivi Mateos will address the question of uh, if we want to cure myeloma, should we cure, should we try to treat better patients at an early stage? And, and of course, her topic of interest, smoldering myeloma, but back to your second part of your question, what about even MGUS potentially? And Michel Delforge will address the question, uh, or will address the topic with the eyes of, uh, maybe it's not a question of treating earlier, but maybe it's a question of keeping the development of uh, novel immunotherapy. We have seen a sh an incredible shift we have made progresses over the past 25 years in myeloma. It's, it's incredible if you look at the survival and the number of drugs. It's the number of drugs that have been developed is incredible. But the survival that goes alongside the number of drugs is incredible. It's never good enough, but it's, it's incredible. Uh, but there's been a shift recently. There's been something incredible recently that the, the curve was increasing, but now it potentially it's exponential. Uh, and that is because we have these novel immunotherapies, the CAR, T techniques, and the B-specifics. So we have reason to believe that potentially, if we were able to go to do even better, or potentially work better around these drugs, uh, we may just get there. Maybe we don't need another genius drug. Maybe we have the drugs that are genius here, and we just have to find the best way to use those. So Michel will address this, he will remind everyone how in very late stage we have incredible results with the B-specifics, particularly the anti-BCMA, anti-CD3, and the CAR anti-BCMA. But in the end of his talks, it's very interesting, you will see uh, all the developments of this B-specific and CAR-T in earlier lines. Not smoldering, myeloma, earlier lines, and how we believe that potentially 30, 40% of the patients uh, thanks to this development, these drugs, and the use of these drugs, and the approval potentially of these drugs up front and in earlier relapse lines, may take the patient to maybe 10, 12, 15 years with only one line. And possibly, uh, then a patient diagnosed at 50 years old, of course, one line, if you relapse at 10 or 12 or 15 years, will not be enough. But if you're 70, 75, or 80 years old, you could have a very good life with only one line with these treatments. So that we're going we're gonna to talk about all these and try to explain to the people all the elements or the data we have to, uh, let's say, that make us think that potentially we are almost there. Um, so, but very humbly, because uh, because what I will discuss as my first talk is that if we think about cure, there is no more, not even one tumor cell in the marrow of the patients. That's probably not, that, that could be one definition of cure in myeloma, but that's probably not the definition we might get to in the coming years. But the idea that patient won't die with myeloma will survive with a nice quality of life. Uh, hopefully is, is maybe the first step where we're going to get and potentially where we already are into. We just have to fine-tune the way to use the drugs we have.